Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to bring to you this idea that you can do for Valentine's Day. I know, it's tomorrow. I am so sorry. I actually wasn't planning on posting this on YouTube, but after posting on Instagram, I was like, might as well share. Maybe in the future you guys can use this. Maybe if it's not for Valentine's, you guys can be creative and use it for Easter or do something along the lines, correct? But today I'm going to be sharing how you guys can still enjoy these holidays guilt-free um doing desserts like this i know lots of the times um especially people who are trying to lose weight we cancel plans or we don't make plans to go out with friends because we're scared of how many calories we're going to consume um or just not hitting our fitness goals and i want to share with you that it is possible you can still have desserts like this just tweaking it a bit with different variety of snacks that are lower in calories and that you can like i said still enjoy so let's get straight on to it so let's start with our berries for my berries i'm going to be using this dark chocolate um, baking bar from the brand lilies this is personally what i like to use they also have flavors like milk chocolate salted caramel all these other flavors that you can choose from I personally like the dark chocolate, so that's what I'm going to be using. And obviously, I already washed and disinfected my berries. They are dried, they're cooled, and I'm going to be dipping them. Um, I honestly did not measure the chocolate, but I did weigh every berry just so I can give you guys an idea of how many calories are in each. Um, since if you are wondering, because I know sometimes we might not even make it because of like, well, how many how much chocolate is it going to take up so i'm here to help you out on that and i weighed each berry and my berries weighed from 23 grams to 28 grams around there each berry obviously is going to weigh a little bit different and then it did take about seven or well, six to um nine ten grams of chocolate in each one so approximately each berry for two berries, it has 75, I mean, 70 calories, exactly. Sorry, I'm messing up a bit. But two berries, 70 calories. Um, like I said, every berry is a little bit different, but this is just what mine weighed, and that's about how many calories are in mine. Obviously, like I told you guys, always get your scale, and that will help you out a lot. Um, but I just went ahead and dipped them, and then just let them cool i personally like to let them cool before sitting them down if you guys didn't know i used to work doing um dipping treats and all that so i kind of have an idea of how to do this because obviously i used to do it as for business before um and it helps the leakage of the berries um not go everywhere okay so now let's get started on our cupcakes so i shared my healthy cake recipe in the past before but i'm going to share it now doing like just a small little version for cupcakes you can go ahead and do regular size cupcakes i personally did the mini just because i wanted to have a variety of desserts if you're only going to do cupcakes i do suggest doing regular size cupcakes but if you're going to do something like this with a platter and have a variety i do suggest doing mini just so you can still have a variety of everything and still be in your deficit that's just my personal opinion you can go ahead and do whatever feels right for you um so all i do to this is grab 100 grams of the cake mix and i'm going to like I said, it's in my, it's, it's more explained in my cake video, but you want to grab 100 grams of that and then add a tablespoon and a half of um, butter. It's the light, I cannot believe it's not butter one. Um, so it's really low in calories and then I just add water. And I actually totally, totally forgot until they were baking that I didn't add egg and I was like, Bick. um, but surprisingly, they are just as good. Um, so if you guys don't want to go ahead and not add the egg, you guys can do so because I promise they taste just as good. Uh, so it was on my on my bad on my end. Um, but each cupcake has an approximately of 45 calories, including the whipped cream. I did not count the uh, sprinkles. I do know that a teaspoon of sprinkles is about 20 calories. So you may want to add two to three calories extra. I don't know. I honestly did not weigh it. I have no clue, um, but I'm not being that strict either. So if you're more strict on it, you can go ahead and weigh your sprinkles a bit. But I do know that almost all sprinkles will have about 20 calories per teaspoon. And then I totally forgot uh, the whipping cream. So I went ahead and just used this one. If you guys know anything about cakes, you never want to use this as it doesn't hold its shape for very much, uh, very long. 
So yeah, but it made it work. I still got the presentation done and it still tasted good. Obviously, it's just not going to last me very long. Uh, you kind of have to eat them in the next few hours. Um, and then I went ahead and added some fresh berries. Obviously, these are going to add more volume to your plate and being lower calorie. And I'm going to go ahead and add some popcorn. This is the popcorn that I'm using. You can totally go ahead and just use cheddar. Cheddar has 60 calories per cup. And then this one does have 140. I personally have cal calories left for my day. So these worked out perfect. And this is what I was craving more than anything. And like I've always mentioned to you guys now, always listen to your body's cravings. If this is what you're craving, go ahead and have a few. Um, if you restrict yourself, you're most likely going to end on a binge. And in the end of the day, you want to still have a healthy relationship with food because I kid you not, no matter how much weight you can lose, but if you're not having a healthy relationship with food, it is so not worth it. Um, so right here, these are the M&Ms that I use. I freaking love these. They Can you believe they're low calorie? Even regular M&Ms are pretty low calorie for the portion size. Um, but I do go ahead and use these just because they are... Uh, they don't have those dyes that the M&M's have and I give this to my kids so that's why I like using these and then I go ahead and add some marshmallows. Marshmallows are also low in calories. I mean there's some that are higher. Mine are like 90 calories for I right, decay 20, 30 grams, something like that. So they're really low in calories. They're gluten free and I buy them from Sprout um, but I know um, Target has some as well and this is how our platter ended. You guys, like I said, you guys can swap out a bit, do a little bit different um, this is just personally what I used. Um, like I said, you can swap out for lower calorie popcorn. Whatever works best for you. This is just, I'm showing you what, what I did. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys next time for my next recipe or so. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of more content on there. And yeah, let me know if you guys end up doing anything like this for tomorrow. You guys still have time. It is currently 4.40 as I'm editing this. I'm going to export it and hopefully you make it in time and run to that store if you need to get anything. And I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing holiday. Happy Valentine's and I'll see you guys. Bye.